All right, we're here again still at the 12-12-12 conference in Miami Circle. We've been here all day with some amazing people from all around the world. Now we're sitting with Diana Gaze, correct? Diana Gaze? And she's a world-renowned healer, new human, new earth. Tell us about the work you have been doing. Well, for over 25 years, I've been guided to do seminars around the world, uh, every country, a lot in Japan, Hong Kong, South America, etc. And I, I work with a group of beings called the Light Team. And our work, uh, uh, beings of, oh, galactic councils, archangels, um, galactic, yeah. Well, many, many beings of light. And our work is about shifting frequency worldwide because every level of frequency is a level of consciousness. And what do you think about the 12-12-12 portal opening and this next year ahead of us? Do you see unity consciousness? Do you see the planet starting to heal itself? I feel and I know and I see great light pouring in. And it's exponential. It's building up day by day. Um, about a year and a half ago, it really, the, the faucet was turned on. And I had just come from a tour of um, Indonesia and Hong Kong giving my seminars on quantum rejuvenation and natural healing and other work about supporting body and soul in this time of change. And I got back to Mount Shasta where I was living at that time. And it was the first time in my life the downloading was was so strong that many of us in that town had to literally take a nap in the afternoon. I mean, uh, to integrate. And since that time, I mean, I wake up in the morning right now and I can feel, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. you know, I can feel the vibration just running around my body. It's almost like I'm levitating as I'm as I'm getting up. And um, with a lot of people, it's a very difficult time for them. There's a lot of folks, yeah. there's a lot of folks, you out there, yeah. there's a lot of you that are, are having a really difficult time. The reason being is as we go closer to this 1221 in this major portal that's opening, the vibration and the frequency is raising and it's like a cream that's in milk coming to the surface and anything that is not of that same frequency is going to come up and ask to be cleared. And so you can get into the processing and you can even become a, a, a processing junkie or you can absolutely at this time love it free and kiss it goodbye and release it. Release it with love and thank it for what it's done for you. Excellent. So what are some things, tell the listeners out there, what are some ways people can do that meditation how can they balance that give, give the listeners some tips out there because not everyone knows like us to meditate and do certain things how can people feel these energies you know? okay it's a matter of raising your frequency would you like to be in touch with the angels for example I hear a yes Absolutely. <laughs> Everything is frequency. Everything is vibration in frequency. For example, there was a while back, I, I did this 10-day retreat where I was meditating for 11 hours a day. And about the seventh day, I hugged a tree and I saw the face of the tree spirit. It was this big, um, it was an oval face like you and I, and the hair was like four times the height of the face and it had little light bulbs throughout the hair. And then I lay down and I saw the rainbow fairing energy the, the, from the fairies and the nature spirits wafting off the, the trees. So we are living in a multidimensional portal. As a matter of fact, we are vast multidimensional beings um, from many different star systems, many different gala galaxies, and we're waking up to our original origins. And when we call the star beings aliens, they're not aliens, they're star brothers and sisters. Star bros and star sisters. Star bros and star sisters. That's it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, even a conference like this that, we're, that I'm speaking at right now and we're, we're talking, um, it's like a Star Trek lounge. It's yes. like the folks are from... It's like the scene from Star Wars, the bar scene. The bar scene from... Precisely. Exactly. 
But at this time, it's a, it's a, it's the most powerful time to become to just open yourself up to do breath technique, to do meditation, to eat、um, mostly living food.、Um, it's it's not even that you're a vegetarian or you're eating living food. Does it have chi? Does it have shakti? Does it have energy? Energy, and can you put your hand over your food? Could you feel the energy? Are you going to save food to the next day and it'll be flat and you're just feeding you, or are you going to eat fresh and and sacred and blessed because you're a sacred, you're a sacred blessed being.、Um, and you and with blessing the food, I also work with curly and photography, and even you take. A sprouted bread, and you take white bread, and you do a photograph over that, and it's totally different. And then you take a piece of, say, sprouted or anything, and you bless it. We are the divine in form, redash membering ourselves, who we are, why we're here, and waking up to the larger mission of unity of oneness with not only everyone on planet Earth and all kingdoms. The animal honoring the animal kingdom, honoring the 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 insects, the grass. It all, all, all is a living consciousness, and then comes the unity, not only with humanity, but humanity with the stars, humanity with different planets, humanity with different universes. And what do you see in this next year、um, coming up? Do you see any consciousness? Do you see the tipping, the hundred monkey effect? What do you What do you feel? I do actually. I, I see a lot of people waking up, and the average person is recognizing that the game plan, the the modality that they're living in at this moment in time, is not working, and there must be a better way. And、uh, a lot of stuff is happening on the planet right now, and we really need to take the healing abilities and and take the healing back into our own hands, and say, you know, I am, I can, I am a master of healing.、Um, and you can. You look in the mirror, and you just send love to yourself. You put your hand on your heart, or you put your hand. Anywhere on your body that's needing healing, and and open, open to your own divine self, open to your own God presence, and with breath work, there's so many, many, many techniques. He has a simple one, is two simple ones. One is、um, a meditation technique that you sit, you close your eyes, and you just follow your breath. That's all you do is follow your breath and just come into presence. What was the second one I was going to teach? <laughs> Meditation is a, is a good one. And and lots and lots and lots of pure water. Everybody should have a water filter. Not、yeah. being not buying and filling the, you know, filling everywhere with plastic bottles.、Yeah. This for this precious precious earth. I have a website. What you're holding here?、Yes. Let's get a close-up of that a little bit later. The light team. The light. My website is the light team dot com, and how you spell that is the l i g h t e a m dot com. If you don't put the in, you're going to get a lighting company, and it's it's one word with one t between light and team. And the light team dot com and Diana Gazes dot com is a quantum rejuvenation site, and that happened in the first eleven 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 portal. So now we're at the twelve twelve twelve, but the very first eleven 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 portal, I was supposed to go back to England and and teach a lot of workshops that I do, and everything was blocked. I could not find someone to be in my house. I lived in Manhattan at the time, and couldn't handle different things. I was just blocked from going, and they and I ended up in a little place in in Georgia, which was the、uh, Georgia Alabama border that had the highest copper content. Copper is the conductor of energy, right? So it was the highest copper content. And for a full month, day and night, before the 11, 11, 11 portal, 
As a matter of fact, Solara came to me at that point, the gal who activated the 111111, and I have a, I work a lot with the press, and I work a lot with television and radio and mass media, and she asked me if I would help her get the word out with the 111111, and I really thought it was her gig, you know, and so I didn't get involved in it, and many of my friends, thousands of people all over the world got involved in the 1111 portal. And they sent me to this isolated place on a rushing river, and day and night I was guided with meditation, with how I eat. I was going through major, major, major mutation. They even opened up a portal where I saw every past life, and the fear of what, what happened with those deaths were, were lifted. So the fear was lifted from my body, and on the 11, 11, 11, this like major faucet of energy opened up and it was like a faucet turned on and this golden energy from the central sun came down through an aspect of myself. Remember I said that we're vast multidimensional beings. Yes, we are. Well, I saw that part of myself that, that was so large it held the earth in her hands and these cords of energy from the central suns were pouring down through this body and I stepped into a super consciousness and and I and it was no time and no space. I had no idea how long and all the lights in the house blew from the energies. I mean this was a, a major event. And prior to that my body was turning into sparkles of light. It was like they were preparing me for this energy download and for that moment, I knew what it was to be in super consciousness, knowing where on the earth needed the radiation, needed the geometries that were pouring out, needed, you know, healing. And a an hour and 45 minutes later, when it ended, but many things happened in between, um, this being of light came and spun around me clockwise and counterclockwise. I couldn't even move, I couldn't even walk. I was used to bringing in lots of energy. I was teaching at that time spoon bending to millions of people over Geraldo and Regis and Good Morning Australia as a vehicle that spirit put in my hand to shift consciousness, to have the microphone and say why we shouldn't cut the ancient trees down or how, you know, we use natural fibers and natural products and how we're energy beings. But after that, I learned that, that everything is energy. That when my body was turning into sparkles of light during that process, I realized that everything is energy oscillating at specific frequencies. And every level of frequency is a level of consciousness. So with all of you out there, are you interested in meeting the angels? Are you interested in meeting the nature spirits? Are you interested in communing with your own heart, with your own soul, with your own God presence? If you are, the key to that is raising your own vibrational frequency. And I have a lot written on the lightteam.com. You know, on that, um, it's, it's absolutely key. And on the dianagazes.com, that is a little portal for quantum rejuvenation and natural healing with lots of superfoods and lasers. I work with a laser on a daily basis, a thing called quantum laser. I know all about the quantum laser box. Do you use it? I've had several of them at my house and several friends, people I know have them, but I don't have one, but I have used them. I use, it, I use it morning and night. I love it. 12 settings, is that the one? Something like that. Yes. yes. Amazing. The quantum laser wands. Got to get one. A little pricey, but they work. They're amazing. It's, I love the, They're you amazing. know, I love the tools. Yeah. I love to play. I've had pyramids in my house. I, I just came. I, I just came. As a matter of fact, with the people in Miami, I just bought a carload, and I'm moving here to Miami from Mount Shasta. Uh, but they can get me through the lightteam.com or dianagazes.com. But I have a whole. I just went cross country driving from Mount Shasta to Florida and I stopped at the Coleman Mines and I stopped at the mines in Arkansas where the major Earth Keeper crystals have been activated from Atlantis and I have all the crystals that have been activated by those major crystals. Wow. I know. It, really. What a mission.
<laughs> thank you. So I'm going to be offering them in Florida. Excellent. Well, great. Well, thank you so much, Diana, for coming out here and spreading your light and love for so long. And uh, Star Sister, we hope to see you again. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for doing what you're Absolutely. doing. of um, Indonesia and Hong Kong giving my seminars on quantum rejuvenation and natural healing and other work about supporting body and soul in this time of change. And I got back to Mount Shasta where I was living at that time and it was the first time in my life the downloading was, was so strong that many of us in that town had to literally take a nap in the afternoon. I mean... Correct? And she's a world-renowned healer, new human, new earth. Tell us about the work you have been doing. Well, for over 25 years, I've been guided to do seminars around the world, uh, every country, a lot in Japan, Hong Kong, South America, etc. And I, I work with a group of beings called the Light Team. And 12, 12, 12, portal opening, and this next year ahead of us, do you see unity consciousness, do you see the planet starting to heal itself? I feel and I know and I see great light pouring in, and it's exponential, it's building up day by day. Um, about a year and a half ago, it really, the, the faucet was turned on, and I had just come from a tour. All right, we're here again still at the 12-12-12 conference in Miami Circle. We've been here all day with some amazing people from all around the world. Now we're sitting with Diana. And our work, uh, uh, beings of, oh, galactic councils, archangels. Oh, um, galactic Federation. Galactic, yeah. Galactic well, many, many beings of light. And our work is about shifting frequency worldwide because... Every level of frequency is a level of consciousness. And what do you think about the 